bride and groom, Zahra and Yusuf today. What better words can there be than those of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he encapsulates great meaning in very few words. He says, Khayrukum, Khayrukum li ahlihi. I'll translate that in a moment, but those words alone are enough to be the yardstick as well as the guideline to leading a happy life, especially upon marriage. He says the best from amongst you, and he's talking to his companions, the best from amongst you are those who are best to their wives. That's it. Those are the words. The best from amongst you are those who are best to their wives. And so he continued to say, Wa ana khayrukum li ahli. If you look at all of you, I am perhaps the best. In fact, he said, I am the best to my own wives. Subhanallah. Now, the treatment of women, the treatment of men, the treatment of the husband, the treatment of the wife, there is always a little bit of give and take. People say my rights, their rights, those rights, these rights. It's not all about rights alone. We have to be kind to each other. We have to respect each other. We have to honor each other. We have to serve each other. We have to ensure that we are what the Almighty says we should be when he describes the union of marriage by saying, You are a clothing to your wives and they are like a clothing unto you. And you and I know that what does clothing do? It beautifies you. It covers any defect that there may be. It ensures that you look the best that you are when you step out of the home. It gives you protection from adverse weather, from that which might be, you know, cold or hot, whatever it may be. From outside, the clothing protects. This really depicts the beautiful relationship that there should be between husband and wife. So my beloved Yusuf, as well as Zahra, like I said, it's an honor to be repeating the words of Allah Almighty and to be repeating the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Try to be the best husband and try to be the best wife. Ensure that you don't allow the devil and Satan to have a portion within the relationship so that turmoil is caused. Because every day in the morning and in the evening, as Muslims, we believe we should be seeking the protection of the Almighty from the devil, the accursed. Remember to read what is known as Ayatul Kursi on a daily basis, which is a verse that is very powerful from the Quran to protect you from shaitan and his whispers, as well as the last three surahs of the Quran. What better advice can I give you than to say that? So we ask the Almighty to grant us all the ability to be the best to our spouses. Just for your information, I've been a marriage counselor for the last 20 years. Two weeks ago, my third daughter out of eight was married. So for those of you looking at me, one young man there told me, you look very young. I said, just as young as you are. But we ask the Almighty to make us from those who are truly prepared to sacrifice for our spouses. There will always be differences. I want to end with a simple example with my five fingers. One is known as the thumb. You have the index finger, the middle finger, etc. The little finger. If you look at them, they're all of different heights. But with a little bit of effort, they will all be in one line. You see, there goes. If you're prepared to make the effort, we can all stand together and we can always benefit each other and there will be greater benefit. But if you're not prepared to make an effort, then you have none to blame besides yourself. May the Almighty bless you both and your families, grant you the best union. And once again, I say, Barakallahu lakuma wa baraka alaykuma wa jama'a baynakuma fi khair. May this union be the most blessed and whatever is to come from it, May it be blessed too. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi